Hey everybody, Matt from Swim University here. I have a question from Bill who had sent me an email and he says uh, he's struggling with a wide range of recommendations by pool water testing people on stabilizer levels. The literature supports an acceptable range of cyanuric acid of about 10 parts per million to 50 parts per million. One pool water test company I use recommends a range of 60 to 80 parts per million. A second company recommends 80 to 100 parts per million of chlorine stabilizer. Why the wide range of recommendations? Okay, so here's how it is. 50 parts per million is a good range. Anything, um, I think just if you just try to maintain that range, it's fine. The idea is when, when you put chlorine into the water, it is burned off by the sun at an extraordinary rate. Chlorine stabilizer actually keeps the chlorine from burning off so fast. So it's good to have chlorine stabilizer. Here's the thing. Uh, you really only have to add stabilizer once at the beginning of the year. Test the water for cyanuric acid at the beginning of the year. Put in enough cyanuric acid to bring you up to 50 parts per million. After that, you probably never have to test it ever again for cyanuric acid. And the reason is, is chlorine is stabilized. The pucks that you buy or the powdered chlorine that you buy uh, is stabilized chlorine. Shock, on the other hand, which is calcium hypochlorite, is unstabilized chlorine, which is why it goes in and it burns off so fast. So really, when you add chlorine stabilizer to the water at the beginning of the year, the rest of the time, every time you add chlorine pucks to your water, your chlorine is essentially keeping the stabilizer levels stable. Find a trusted source for information, whether it's the pool guy down the street, the pool store down the street, me even, but stick to one set of principles. The best range, 50 parts per million. Thank you for your question, Bill. Take care, guys. And also visit swimuniversity.com. Totally forgot to mention that.